Hi, my name is Amy, and I am the creator of Real English Conversations, the website where we show students how they can start to use the English they have already learned to actually make it useful in the real world. We show you tips and techniques that you can uh, put together with real English resources, real conversations to sound more natural when you're communicating and to understand native speakers better. So in this video, I'm going to show you one of the secrets that I know about for how you can learn English faster. Now, this is 100% true and it's going to make a lot of sense once you hear my explanation. So let's get started. All right, so let's pretend that this is you in the center of the screen. You are the green dot and I am going to show you how you can improve faster. This is going to make a lot of sense. So the first thing we need to do is to get you motivated. You need motivation to help you to study English and do the things that are really going to make a difference in, in your abilities. If you're wanting to improve your speaking, we need to do speaking exercises. And if you want to improve your listening, we need to do certain techniques that are really going to make a difference and show you results. But those activities take a little bit of work, not a lot, they're not that hard, but you need motivation in order to start doing those activities. Like you want to see results, you're ready to become fluent in English. And then once you're motivated, this stage becomes a lot easier, which is being consistent being consistent with your studying. And when you start having consistency with your studying, you're able to learn a lot faster. Why are you able to learn faster? It's because you're spending less time reviewing what you learned last time and more time learning new things. So, for example, if you had to remember 20 new words and you looked at them today and maybe spent five or 10 minutes trying to learn these new words and you looked at those words tomorrow, I can guarantee you, you will remember more of those words because you looked at them the next day compared to if you took a whole week and you didn't look at any of those words and then you tried to remember them the following week. When you do this sort of thing, uh, where you have 20 words today and you remember them and then you don't look at them for the entire week and you look at them one week later, what happens is you don't remember anything. And you need to spend probably another 15 minutes or 20 minutes trying to remember these words again. So if you only had half an hour of time you would be spending half of that time trying to remember what you learned last time. Where when you're consistent with your studying, for example, those 20 words, you look at them the next day, you remember 10 of them, and you only need to spend two or three minutes reviewing the other 10 words, and now they're in your brain already. So within five minutes, you've been able to study those 20 words, and now you can move on to learn something else for another 25 minutes. That is the power of consistency and that's how it's going to help you to learn faster. Now, of course, once you start learning faster, you're going to see more results and that's what we all want. I know that it can be very difficult to be motivated to study a language when you're not seeing any progress or you're not seeing any results with all this hard work that you're putting in. So if you can learn faster, you're going to see more results in your progress and you're going to be learning more and that's a good thing. And once you have those results and you can see that what you're doing is really making a difference, it leads to way more motivation and this cycle continues. 
So once you have that motivation back, because you can see your hard work was good and it made a difference, you're going to be motivated to continue studying consistently, which is going to help you to learn more faster. You're going to see more results and continue to be motivated. So what I would like to do to try to help you to get your motivation and help you be able to study more consistently, to get this cycle started, uh, it's really going to make your English learning a lot easier and a lot faster, and that's what I think most students are looking for. So what I want you to do is go check your email right now. I've already sent you the first lesson about motivation and I have some really easy questions for you to answer that are going to remind you quickly of the reasons why you're studying English and ask you a few questions about your study habits. And it should be pretty clear to you at the end of the questions that I have about how you can improve and to refresh this energy that you have to continue on to get to the next level with your English. I am also going to be sending you some specific lessons to help you with either speaking or listening. Um, after we do the planning that you need to know how to keep your motivation high and how to keep your studying consistent, the next step in the formula is to show you really awesome techniques that are going to help you to learn faster. So I'm going to show you little things that you can do uh, with the things that you're already studying to start seeing huge results and it's going to be really good. I'm here to take you from intermediate to advanced level where you are right now all the way to fluency. So um, go ahead and check your email inbox right now and uh, while you're here on this video take a second to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave me a comment saying hi I'd love to hear from you.